works in the public domain are those whose intellectual property rights have expired, have been forfeited, or are inapplicable. Examples include the works of Shakespeare and Beethoven, most of the early silent films, the formulae of Newtonian physics, and powered flight. The term is not normally applied to situations where the creator of a work retains residual rights, in which case use of the work is referred to as under license, or with permission. In informal usage, the public domain consists of works that are publicly available. While according to the formal definition, it consists of works that are unavailable for private ownership or are available for public use. As rights are country-based and vary, a work may be subject to rights in one country and not in another. Some rights depend on registrations with a country-by-country -country basis, and the absence of registration in a particular country, if required, implies public domain status in that country. Public domain is one of the traditional safety valves in copyright law. History the term public domain did not come into use until the mid-17th century, although as a concept it can be traced back to the ancient Roman law, as a preset system included in the property rights system. The Romans had a large proprietary rights system where they defined many things that cannot be privately owned as res communes, res publici and res universitatis. The term res commune was defined as things that could be commonly enjoyed by mankind, such as air, sunlight and ocean. The term res publici referred to things that were shared by all citizens, and the term res universitatis meant things that were owned by the municipalities of Rome. When looking at the public domain from a historical perspective, one could say the construction of the idea of public domain sprouted from the concepts of res commune, res publici, and res universitatis in early Roman law. When the first early copyright law was first established in Britain with the Statute of Anne in 1710, public domain did not appear. However, similar concepts were developed by British and French jurists in the 18th century. Instead of public domain they used terms such as publici juris or propria copyright ta copyright publique to describe works that were not covered by copyright law. The phrase fall in the public domain can be traced to mid-19th century France to describe the end of copyright term. The French poet Alfred de Vigny equated the expiration of copyright with a work falling into the sinkhole of the public domain, and if the public domain receives any attention from intellectual property lawyers it is still treated as little more than that which is left when intellectual property rights, such as copyright, patents, and trademarks, expire or are abandoned. In this historical context Paul Torumans describes copyright as a little coral reef of private right jutting up from the ocean of the public domain. Because copyright law is different from country to country, Pamela Samuelson has described the public domain as being different sizes at different times in different countries. Definition Definitions of the boundaries of the public domain in relation to copyright, or intellectual property more generally, regard the public domain as a negative space. That is, it consists of works that are no longer in copyright term or were never protected by copyright law. According to James Boyle this definition underlines common usage of the term public domain and equates the public domain to public property and works in copyright to private property. However, the usage of the term public domain can be more granular, including for example uses of works in copyright permitted by copyright exceptions. Such a definition regards work in copyright as private property subject to fair use rights and limitation on ownership. A conceptual definition comes from Lang, who focused on what the public domain should be, it should be a place of sanctuary for individual creative expression, a sanctuary conferring affirmative protection against the forces of private appropriation that threatened such expression. Patterson and Lindbergh described the public domain not as a territory, but rather as a concept. T. Here are certain materials a euro the air we breathe, sunlight, rain, space, life, creations, thoughts, feelings, ideas, words, numbers a euro not subject to private ownership. The materials that compose our cultural heritage must be free for all living to use no less than matter necessary for biological survival. The term public domain may also be interchangeably used with other imprecise and or undefined terms such as the public sphere, or commons, including concepts such as commons of the mind, the intellectual commons, and the information commons. Value 
Pamela Samuelson has identified eight values that can arise from information and works in the public domain. Possible values include, building blocks for the creation of new knowledge, examples include data, facts, ideas, theories, and scientific principle. Access to cultural heritage through information resources such as ancient Greek texts and Mozeta Euro unregistered trademark as symphonies. Promoting education, through the spread of information, ideas, and scientific principles. Enabling follow-on innovation, through for example expired patents and copyright. Enabling low-cost access to information without the need to locate the owner or negotiate rights clearance and pay royalties through for example expired copyrighted works or patents, and non-original data compilation. Promoting public health and safety, through information and scientific principles. Promoting the democratic process and values, through news, laws, regulation, and judicial opinion. Enabling competitive imitation, through for example expired patents and copyright, or publicly disclosed technologies that do not qualify for patent protection. Relationship with derivative works. Derivative works include translations, musical arrangements, and dramatizations of a work, as well as other forms of transformation or adaptation. Copyrighted works may not be used for derivative works without permission from the copyright owner, while public domain works can be freely used for derivative works without permission. Artworks that are public domain may also be reproduced photographically or artistically or used as the basis of new, interpretive works. Once works enter into the public domain, derivative works such as adaptations in book and film may increase noticeably, as happened with Francis Hodgson Burnett's novel The Secret Garden, which became public domain in 1987. By 1999, the plays of Shakespeare, all public domain, had been used in more than 420 feature-length films. In addition to straightforward adaptation, they have been used as the launching point for transformative retellings such as Tom Stoppard's Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Dead and Troma Entertainment's Tromeo and Juliet. Marcel Duchamp's L.H.O.O.Q. is a derivative of Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, one of thousands of derivative works based on the public domain painting. Relationship with the Information Society, according to Bent Hugo Knowles and Lucy Quibault, the public domain is under pressure from the commodification of information as items of information that previously had little or no economic value have acquired independent economic value in the information age, such as factual data, personal data, genetic information, and pure ideas. The commodification of information is taking place through intellectual property law, contract law, as well as broadcasting and telecommunications law. Perpetual copyright. Some works may never fully lapse into the public domain. A perpetual crown copyright is held for the authorized King James Version of the Bible in the UK. While the copyright of the play Peter Pan, or The Boy Who Wouldn't Grow Up by J. M. Barry has expired in the United Kingdom, it was granted a special exception under the Copyright, Designs, and Patents Act 1988 that requires royalties to be paid for performances within the UK, so long as Great Ormond Street Hospital continues to exist. Application to copyrightable works, works not covered by copyright law, the underlying idea that is expressed or manifested in the creation of a work generally cannot be the subject of copyright law. Mathematical formulae will therefore generally form part of the public domain, to the extent that their expression in the form of software is not covered by copyright. Works created before the existence of copyright and patent laws also form part of the public domain. For example, the Bible and the inventions of Archimedes are in the public domain, but copyright may exist in translations or new formulations of these works. Expiration of copyright Determination of whether a copyright has expired depends on an examination of the copyright in its source country. In the United States, determining whether a work has entered the public domain or is still under copyright can be quite complex, primarily because copyright terms have been extended multiple times and in different ways a euro shifting over the course of the 20th century from a fixed term based on first publication, with a possible renewal term, to a term extending to 50, then 70, years after the death of the author. In most other countries that are signatories to the Berne Convention, Copyright term is based on the life of the author, 
and extends to 50 or 70 years beyond the death of the author. Legal traditions differ on whether a work in the public domain can have its copyright restored. In the European Union, the Copyright Duration Directive was applied retroactively, restoring and extending the terms of copyright on material previously in the public domain. Term extensions by the US and Australia generally have not removed works from the public domain, but rather delayed the addition of works to it. However, the United States moved away from that tradition with the Uruguay Round Agreements Act, which removed from the public domain many foreign sourced works that had previously not been in copyright in the U.S. for failure to comply with U.S. based formalities requirements. Consequently, in the U.S., foreign sourced works and U.S. sourced works are now treated differently, with foreign sourced works remaining under copyright regardless of compliance with formalities while domestically sourced works may be in the public domain if they fail to comply with then existing formalities requirements a euro a situation described as odd by some scholars, and unfair by some U.S.-based rights holders. Government works, works of the United States government and various other governments are excluded from copyright law and may therefore be considered to be in the public domain in their respective countries. In the United States when copyrighted material is enacted into the law, it enters the public domain. Thus, for example, the building codes, when enacted, are in the public domain. They may also be in the public domain in other countries as well. It is axiomatic that material in the public domain is not protected by copyright, even when incorporated into a copyrighted work. Dedicating works to the public domain Few if any legal systems have a process for reliably donating works to the public domain. They may even prohibit any attempt by copyright owners to surrender rights automatically conferred by law, particularly moral rights. An alternative is for copyright holders to issue a license which irrevocably grants as many rights as possible to the general public, for example, the CCO license from Creative Commons. Patents in most countries the term for patents is 20 years, after which the invention becomes part of the public domain. Trademarks A trademark registration may remain in force indefinitely, or expire without specific regard to its age. For a trademark registration to remain valid, the owner must continue to use it. In some circumstances, such as disuse, failure to assert trademark rights, or common usage by the public without regard for its intended use, it could become generic, and therefore part of the public domain. Because trademarks are registered with governments, some countries or trademark registries may recognize a mark, while others may have determined that it is generic and not allowable as a trademark in that registry. For example, the drug acetyl salicylic acid is better known as aspirin in the United States a euro a generic term. In Canada, however, Aspirin is still a trademark of the German company Bayer. Bayer lost the trademark in the United States, the UK and France after World War I, as part of the Treaty of Versailles. So many copycat products entered the marketplace during the war that it was deemed generic just three years later. Generic trademarks, although Hormel resigned itself to genericide, it has fought attempts by other companies to register spam as a trademark in relation to computer products. See also References External links, Public Domain Manifesto, Public Domain Day with many links to useful tools to find and determine public domain works, The Public Domain Review, Public Domain Dedication by Creative Commons, Public Domain Mark by Creative Commons, European A Public Domain Charter, Out of Copyright Public Domain Calculation for Europe, by European A, Flow Chart to Determine Public Domain Status of a Work in the U.S., Stanford Copyright Renewal Database, Catalogue of Copyright Entries Information. Center for the Study of the Public Domain, Duke Law School, Duke University, N. Stefan Kinsler, Against Intellectual Property, Michelle Baldrine and David K. Levine, Against Intellectual Monopoly.